From James Gunn writing and directing the movie himself to being inspired by one of the best Superman comics of all time, here's everything we know about the upcoming Superman Legacy movie. For starters, James Gunn is going to personally direct this movie. Fans may know him as the mastermind behind the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. But more recently, he's taken over as the co-head of DC Films. And let's just say he's trying to make sure his new DCU starts things off in the best way possible. The director isn't taking any chances with the universe's first film, since it's going to lay the very foundation of the new DC Universe. The DC Universe is getting a major revamp, and it all starts with this film. No pressure, right? Superman Legacy is going going to be a new take on the Man of Steel. And that means we won't be seeing Henry Cavill in the role. Instead, fans are going to get a fresh and young Superman, and honestly, I'm all for it. Plus, not only is James Gunn going to be directing the film, but he also wrote the script himself. Talk about dedication. It's clear that this is a very personal project for him, and considering his history with superheroes, I really do think he may be the best person for the job. But I have some bad news for all of you eager fans out there, the release date for Superman Legacy is set for July 11th, 2025. Yes, you read that right, 2025. I know it seems like a lifetime away, but trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. James Gunn and producer Peter Safran are pulling out all the stops to make sure that this new DC universe is going to be the best it can be. And let me tell you, their passion for this project is something else. I can't predict how the film will turn out, but one thing's for sure, the future of the DC universe is looking pretty bright. And it's not like we won't have any good DC content to watch until then, there are still a bunch of other films to keep fans busy, like Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. So let's give James and Safran the time they need to complete this franchise overall, something truly special. Plus, there's another reason why fans think James is the perfect director for this project, and it's that he connects a lot of dots with the source material. The director recently revealed that his brother was moved to tears upon hearing the release date. Why, you may ask? Because it just so happens to fall on the birthday of James's father, who passed away three years ago. James's dad had a huge influence on his son's love for comics and filmmaking, and the reason why James even got into this field in the first place. But there's more to this story than just a heartwarming coincidence. James also shared that he was offered the chance to direct a Superman movie years ago, but he turned it down because he didn't feel like he had a fresh and exciting way to tell the story while also honoring the character. But his newfound inspiration has given him the confidence he needs to tell a Superman story that fans have never really seen before at least not in live action form. While there have been Superman adaptations that have been decent, fans still think that many of them have failed to properly understand the basic concept of what makes Clark such a likable everyday guy. I mean, when you've got Snyder making Superman punch Zod through buildings and causing more destruction than the villain himself, it's not a mystery why the real meaning of Superman has been lost along the way. But that's why James's version of the character will be so great, because the film's plot takes him back to his roots. The upcoming film will explore the contrast between Superman's Kryptonian heritage and his life as a farm boy from Kansas. James is going to give us a new perspective on what makes Kal-El tick, and what it means for him to be both Kryptonian and human. Honestly, that's such a breath of fresh air. Now, I don't want to offend any Snyder fans out there, but let's face it, the real Superman isn't the brooding, angsty version we saw in those movies. If you're a true comic book fan, you know that Superman is the epitome of wholesomeness. Sure, he's an alien with superpowers, but what makes him so relatable is his humanity. He was raised on Earth, not Krypton, and that's what makes him such a unique and lovable character. And let me tell you, James Gunn is a true blue comic book fan. He's not about to let Hollywood butcher the character he loves so much. James is determined to bring a proper comic book depiction of Superman to the big screen. With his emotional attachment to the project, you can bet your bottom dollar that he's going to deliver a movie that's not only visually stunning, but also touches the heartstrings of fans. 
But hold on to your capes because it gets even better. James has already talked about the comic book storyline that served as his inspiration for Superman Legacy. Gunn has stated that the film will be heavily influenced by the critically acclaimed comic book series, All-Star Superman, written by Grant Morrison. For those who aren't familiar with the series, All-Star Superman is known for his emotional depth and is considered one of the best Superman stories out there. So it's safe to say that fans can expect some serious emotional punches from the movie. Now, I know what you're thinking. But wait a minute, isn't this supposed to be a new and original story? Well, there's no need to worry because James has made it clear that while the movie will be heavily influenced by it, it's not going to serve as a direct adaptation of the comic. So there will still be plenty of originality and that classic James charm to be found in this movie. Still, a lot of fans are a bit hesitant. Many are even doubting if this supposed overhaul of the DC Universe will work out in the end. And of course, there are Snyder fans, who for some reason are petitioning to have Netflix by the Snyderverse. I mean, I've gotta agree, it's a bold move, but one that I'm confident will pay off. With James Gunn at the helm, it's clear he'll be able to create a fresh and exciting take on the Man of Steel. Of course, there are still a lot of unknowns about the movie that have yet to be revealed, like just who's going to be starring as Superman. So, like I said before, Henry Cavill isn't going to be reprising his iconic role, which is a huge bummer, I know. But I don't think fans should avoid seeing this movie just because of that. The thing is, James didn't let go of Henry because of some personal differences. Like many online rumors would have you believe, it's just that this version of Superman is going to be a lot younger. After all, he's going to be the centerpiece of a franchise that's just starting off. So obviously they'd need an actor who can maintain his youth for a decade or two. Because of that, Henry, despite being a great candidate, was ultimately never even considered for the role. Gunn is known for taking risks, and this casting decision is no exception. He wants to bring a fresh face to the role and breathe new life into the character, and let's be honest, fans have seen Henry Cavill as Superman for a while now. It's time for someone new to take up the mantle. That said, Gunn has a clear vision for the film, and I think the person he eventually casts for the role will reflect that. So far, it doesn't seem like anyone's been picked, even though there have been reports circling online of James auditioning people, with some people even claiming he's chosen finalists. But Gunn has personally tweeted that all these rumors are false, and that they are still very much nailing down the script for now. But that's all you need to know about the DCU's Superman Legacy movie.